Now, Ghana is set to receive a hundred million dollar investment to expand pharma financing. The announcement made by Japanese agritech company Degas Limited during the Ghana Presidential Investments Forum in Accra is aimed at building Africa's first AI powered agriculture hub. When you think of a farm in Ghana, what comes to mind? Perhaps you imagine a vast green landscape dotted with cocoa trees, the air thick with the smell of rich earth. You might picture a farmer, tool in hand, working the soil under the warm West African sun, a timeless image of agriculture that has sustained communities for generations. But what if I told you the next great agricultural revolution isn't happening in the tech labs of Silicon Valley? or the sprawling commercial farms of Europe, but is taking root right here in the heart of Ghana. That's right. Ghana has unveiled a landmark $100 million plan to establish itself as Africa's very first AI-powered farming hub. This isn't just a futuristic dream. It's an ambitious four-year initiative poised to fundamentally reshape the nation's most vital industry. Spearheaded by the Japanese agri-fintech company Degas Limited, this plan is about more than just modernizing agriculture with new gadgets. It is a calculated strategy to uplift the lives of the countless smallholder farmers who form the backbone of Ghana's economy and culture. In this video, we're taking a deep dive into this groundbreaking project, exploring how it will transform farming in Ghana, why it's a critical move for the nation's future, and what its success could mean for the entire African continent. To truly grasp the monumental importance of this $100 million investment, we first need to understand the immense challenges facing Ghanaian agriculture today. Agriculture isn't just another industry in Ghana. It is the lifeblood of the nation. Some estimates suggest that over half of the labor force is engaged in agriculture. Yet despite this deep-seated reliance, the sector is grappling with a perfect storm of issues. The relentless advance of climate change brings with it unpredictable rainfall patterns and prolonged droughts, turning once reliable seasons into a gamble. Traditional farming practices passed down through generations are often no longer sufficient to combat new, more resilient pests and depleted soil. Furthermore, a severe lack of access to modern technology and affordable financing has left many farmers struggling to increase their output and secure their livelihoods. Let's put this in perspective. Picture a smallholder farmer in the Ashanti region, a region famous for its cocoa production. Her days are dictated by a constant battle against uncertainty. She wakes up to a sky that might promise rain, but deliver none for weeks threatening her young crops. A new type of pest could decimate a portion of her field overnight with no quick or affordable remedy available. Without access to accurate weather data, seal analysis, or credit to buy better seeds and fertilizer, she finds herself locked in a cycle of low yields, significant post-harvest losses, and deepening poverty. This story is not an exception. It is the reality for a vast number of farmers across the country. The consequences of these struggles ripple outwards, affecting every single Ghanaian. The nation currently finds itself in a precarious position, importing more than 50% of its food. According to the Ghana Statistical Service, in 2024, the country spent a staggering amount on imported food items like rice, cereal grains, and meat products that could potentially be produced locally. This heavy reliance on imports is not just a financial drain that weakens the national currency. It is a pressing food security issue. Any disruption in global supply chains, whether from geopolitical events or price shocks, could have immediate and severe consequences for food availability on the ground. These challenges aren't just abstract economic data. They represent real lives real families, and the very future of the nation's stability. The stakes could not be higher. This is where Degas Limited's groundbreaking $100 million initiative enters the picture, offering a bold new path forward. The core idea is to establish Ghana as Africa's first AI-powered agricultural hub, using technology not just as a tool, 
but as the central driver of a complete system overhaul. So what does this actually look like on the ground? This project is about creating a smart, interconnected agricultural ecosystem. Imagine a farm where technology and tradition work hand in hand. This initiative will roll out a suite of powerful AI-driven tools accessible to smallholder farmers. One of the cornerstones of this plan is satellite-enabled crop monitoring. This technology provides farmers with a bird's-eye view of their land in real time, delivering high-resolution imagery that can identify issues with stunning precision. Predictive analytics, powered by this satellite data, will help farmers optimize the timing of planting, irrigation, and harvesting, maximizing their chances of a successful crop. This is complemented by precision agronomy services, which act like a personal consultant for each farmer. By analyzing soil health and local climate data, the system delivers tailored advice directly to farmers on climate smart practices, such as which crops to plant, and the exact amount of fertilizer needed, reducing waste and improving soil longevity. But perhaps the most transformative element of this plan is how it addresses the critical issue of financing. For generations, smallholder farmers have been considered high risk by traditional banks, making it nearly impossible to secure the credit needed to invest in their farms. This initiative tackles that problem head on by using AI-driven risk assessments. By collecting millions of data points on farm productivity, soil quality, and a farmer's adherence to best practices, the system can generate a reliable credit score. This de-risks the loan for financial institutions and unlocks access to affordable financing at fair rates. For a small farmer, this is a complete game changer. It means being able to afford high quality seeds, invest in irrigation, and build a more resilient and profitable farm. This approach has already shown incredible promise. Degas's existing model in Ghana has supported over 86,000 farmers, doubling their incomes while maintaining an exceptional 95% loan repayment rate. This proven success has earned the confidence of government officials and industry experts who see the initiative as a credible blueprint for national agricultural transformation. So what does success truly look like when this four-year plan is fully realized? The impact extends far beyond just higher crop yields. We are talking about a fundamental shift in Ghana's economic and social landscape. With full implementation, we can expect a dramatic improvement in agricultural productivity, which will directly bolster the nation's food security and reduce its dependence on volatile foreign markets. This means more locally grown food on tables across Ghana, enhancing rural incomes and building a more sustainable and self-sufficient future. The economic ripple effects will be substantial. This initiative is set to become a major engine for job creation especially for Ghana's vibrant and growing youth population. New roles will emerge across a wide range of sectors, including skilled farm technicians, drone operators, data analysts interpreting satellite imagery, software developers creating new agri-tech applications, and financial experts specializing in AI-driven credit for agriculture. This will not only provide dignified employment, but also help reverse the trend of urban migration by making rural communities hubs of innovation and economic opportunity. Furthermore, this bold move into AI is positioning Ghana as a highly attractive gateway for foreign investment in West Africa. The project has already captured significant international attention, with many Japanese companies and investors expressing strong interest in Ghana's agricultural sector. This confidence is a testament to the country's vision of integrating technology with national policy. Global partners now see Ghana's model as a gold standard for agricultural investment in Africa, signaling a massive vote of confidence in its future. But the vision extends far beyond Ghana's borders. The success of this AI-powered agricultural hub is designed to serve 
as a powerful and scalable blueprint for other African nations facing similar challenges. By demonstrating how to effectively leverage technology to solve pressing issues like food insecurity and climate change, Ghana could inspire a wave of similar initiatives across the continent. This is a story of African-led innovation providing African-led solutions. With the potential to empower millions and redefine the future of agriculture for an entire continent. In summary, Ghana's $100 million plan to become Africa's first AI farming hub is more than just an investment in technology. It's a profound investment in its people. It represents a bold and decisive step away from the cycle of dependency and toward a future of food sovereignty, economic prosperity, and sustainability. As we watch this remarkable transformation unfold, we are reminded that the future of agriculture is not a battle between tradition and technology, but a partnership between the two. At its heart, this initiative is about empowering the farmers who have always been and will always be the ones who feed us all. Now, we want to hear from you. What aspect of this initiative excites you the most? Do you believe AI is the key to unlocking Africa's agricultural potential? Share your thoughts and ideas in the comments below. If you found this video insightful and want to continue exploring African innovation and technology, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Let's keep the conversation going about how Africa is not just solving its own challenges, but leading the way with groundbreaking solutions. Thank you for joining me today. And until next time, stay curious.